Let me say, this is Korean Zombie and Chombies. Oh, this is from Shorb Show, actually. Let's see what he says here on this Shorb Show clip. I think Max Holloway's going to pepper his Korean oh. face into North Korea. That's what I think. His face can go from south to north. That's what I think is going to happen. Got to believe. You got to believe, Jen. You want to bet on it? <laughs> <laughs> this time I'm going to step away. Hey, this fight's so fucked up. <laughs> this fight's so messed up. I know. But the I Korean mean, Zombie it, asked for it. The, he's been one. Yeah, he's been one, Max. And Max wanted Korean, so. Or Korean Zombie. I'm Team Max all day. I'm Team Anthony Smith all day. Yeah, I mean, I'll tune in. I'll watch it. Yeah. I'll watch a sacrifice in the morning of Saturday. Saturday, I'll watch that. It's either that or morning cartoons with the kiddos. Yeah, should be a fun fight. Sorry, kiddos, no cartoons today. We're going to watch Korean Zombie get annihilated. <laughs> Enjoy your Cheerios in blood this morning. Oh, man. Yeah, it is what it is. It is. But we have, refresh my memory, we have Iowa coming up, Des Moines, Des Moines Iowa in October, and then in December we have Chicago. I haven't been to Chicago in a hot second, so um, I'll be in my Cubs jersey out there in Chicago. I'll be in my Iowa. Anyway, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. The the Korean Zombie versus Max Holloway fight again. Just being a casual here and talking from my, you know, talking from my fucking ass. I know, obviously, Max is probably going to be the favorite, but it's not out. It's not out of out of the realms of possibility that Korean Zombie could win. Max hasn't looked the greatest in his previous fights. I don't think so, personally. He he's getting hit a lot more than he did before. The Volkanovski fights were brutal. No, they were real fucking barnstormers. So he's taken a lot of damage over the years. Obviously, Korean Zombie isn't the greatest, don't get me wrong, but they're both guys who like to fucking get hit. They like to walk forward. I don't know. And plus, exactly as Patrick said, Brendan has unfortunately cursed Max. So even if you were super confident on Max, the fact that he's going for Max is now a little bit, it makes it a bit dicey, dicey. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Is Max always like, is Max Holloway and Alex Volkanovsky like um, John Jones and DC? where DC would always get fucked over. No, so John Jones would always fuck DC, fuck him up. But DC is still fucking a top-level heavyweight. And if John Jones didn't exist, DC would obviously be champion for a long time. Is that kind of the thing? So maybe because Max Holloway's only lost, you know, to fucking Volk in a big way, that doesn't mean he's terrible. But I don't know. I haven't been that impressed with some previous performances from Volk. I forgot the one he did. What was the one he did recently? Oh, was it against that Arnold Allen guy, right? I don't think that fight was that great. If I remember correctly, didn't that go to the decision? That was his decision, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. I wasn't, you know what I mean? Max is still Max, don't get me wrong. He's still fun to watch. Hell of a fighter, great dude. But that fight wasn't the best outing of Max we've seen, personally. Um, but anyway, let's see. Let's see. Um, most likely he will win against Korean Zombie, but unfortunately, Brendan's given fucking Max the fucking curse. The Brendan fucking curse. So sorry, the Papa curse. So maybe this might go a crazy way. Um, so let's see what I'll go on. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Imagine Korean zombie. <laughs> Imagine Korean zombie gives Max his first knockout loss. Has Max ever been knocked out? I don't think he has, isn't he? He's one of those fighters like Nate. I can't remember him being ever knocked out before or subbed. Imagine if Brendan's curse is so real, he causes Korean Zombie to knock out Max Holloway. <laughs> the Reddit would explode. The Reddit would explode, man. Honestly, the Reddit will explode. <laughs> I would fucking live for it. I'm going to live for it. I swear to God, I'll live for it. I actually might actually put that as a bet. I might put that as a bet. Korean zombie to win any any time by K by KO or TKO or something. <laughs> oh shit. That might be crazy. Honestly, that might be insane. I'm gonna do that. I'm so gonna do that. Oh god. <laughs> Appreciate you, brother. Stuck at work. Don't mind me. Just lurking in the back. I hope you're well, my dude. Hello, chat. Yes, yes, always well. Big up, big, uh, good robot. Thank you for the $20, brother. Appreciate you. And um, keep plugging the way at work. One of the things I kind of miss about working late, so working in retail back in the day, was having my headphones on and listening and listening to the good old days of Rogan. Back in the day, listening to Rogan, listening to fucking Joe Budden podcast before Rory and Moore left. Um, listening to like early, like Tim Dillon back then when Ben was still on. 
um, all those podcasts was fucking so great. They would make you, it would be so amazing to fucking, you know, waste away the time listening to that shit in the background. Nowadays, the podcasters aren't the greatest anymore. So sometimes I think a lot of people, mostly, are probably listening to fucking live streams in the background because it's, you know, it's the only way to kind of make, yeah, exactly. Early Kill Tony, exactly 730. That was fucking awesome back in the day. Why did Kill Tony go to shit, by the way? Why do you guys think Kill Tony went to shit? Kill Tony was awesome, man. Why did I go fucking horrible straight away or so you know over time was it tony was it the way they do it was it just the model itself ran its course kill tony was awesome i never missed the episode now i just it's hard to get through them now i wonder what changed what made it shit people are saying yeah i think it got too big Yo, big up that indian dude appreciate the 10 dollar super chat disagree max holloway comfortably win against arnold allen volkanovsky is just that good Holloway a decision machine. Korean zombie has a big YouTube career in South Korea. Should retire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong. Korean zombie's last... Don't, didn't Korean zombie lose his most recent fight by a knockout or something, right? It was kind of brutal. Who, who did he face? I don't want to look it up online because it's, it's fun to just talk out of my ass. But I remember Korean zombie losing a, quite a sad way to somebody. I don't know who it was. It was a kind of a brutal finish. Who did Korean zombie lo lose to? Was it Volk? Yeah, Volk. Okay, Volk. So, okay. And Max Holloway has taken Volk to decision three times. And I think a lot of the fights have been close. So you're probably right, that Indian dude. You're probably right. But come on. It's a bit tempting to believe that the Brendan Shaw, is the Brendan Shaw curse is real. Come on. You know it is. Imagine if Korean Zombie tkos or knocks out fucking max holloway can you imagine this happening oh it would be so incredible man oh chin would chin will fucking chin will definitely it'll be red panty night for chin and when i mean red panty night chin will just put on some red panties and start dancing around his room like chin will love it if korean zombie ends up fucking sparking max holloway chin will be fucking over the moon he won't be fucking white and from texas anymore he'll be full-blooded korean He'll be full fucking uh, <laughs> Korean. <laughs> he won't be fucking cosplaying as a Texan anymore. He'll be fucking fully fledged Korean if Korean Zombie does that. I don't know. I don't bet. I don't gamble. But I'm tempted to just put a tenner, ten pound on Korean Zombie to win by TKO and KO. It's an insane bet, but I'm just tempted to do it, man. I'm tempted to put ten pounds on it. <laughs> I've never bet in my entire life, ever. But I'm tempted to do it. I swear to God, I'm tempted to bet on Korean Zombie. Can you guys imagine? Oh, Brendan's MMA fucking prediction career is fucking incredible.